Hey yo and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I'm a reader, writer, and a generally chaotic human being. Today's video is going to be talking about my what am I going to do for NaNoWriMo? Also, I'm doing NaNoWriMo. Um, before we get any further into the video, I just want to note if you hear squeaking, um, I'm, you can hear people, my mom walking around upstairs because um, the floor is not that insulated um, between the floors. Like literally I'm looking at the wood that my mom is walking on. Okay, just so you know. Or if you hear squeaking, guinea pigs, right there. If there's any weird lighting, this brightest light is directly above me. Um, so let's talk about NaNoWriMo. So what is NaNoWriMo? NaNoWriMo is essentially the challenge to write a first draft in a month. Um, and now to make this somewhat fair, um, the actual word count goal is 50,000 words. Um, the reason I say make it fair um, is because uh, some books are going to end up being like 100,000 words, not 50,000. So it's 100,000 is way, way, way too hard for most people. 50,000 is way too hard for most people anyway. So the goal is 50,000 words. Um, to do it in November. Now, there are two other versions of NaNo. They are called Camp NaNo, and they take place in April and July. Regular NaNo, with the goal of 50,000 words, takes place in November. And that's just the border, just the straight across the board, goal of 50K. Um, whereas April and July NaNos are, you choose your own adventures, essentially. You get to pick your goal. Um, so that's what NaNo is. Um... And sometimes you do, it's supposed to be like one draft. Um, some people do short stories. Some people do a bunch of different things. Uh, you can do edits, whatever. Um, you just have to figure out how you're going to count the words um, specifically for it. In the end, the goal is 50,000 words. So I've officially decided, yeah, I'm doing NaNo this year. 50,000 words is my goal. Um, there's going to be a couple of ways that I'll be acquiring my words, and there'll be a couple of ways that I hope I'm not acquiring words. So the project I hope I'm not working on is the edits for Whispers of Tomorrow. My goal is to have my edits for Whispers of Tomorrow finished by October 31st. do it okay i can do it and then i'm also going to be working on fan fiction because writing fan fiction is a form of self-care for me so i'm not going to stop myself from counting those words but i don't want the majority of my words to come from fan fiction now at a later year a future nano i might just decide like i'm just gonna allow myself to just binge write fan fiction um for a month and that sounds like a dream actually but at this time i'm not gonna allow myself to do that so i'm still gonna count the words and i'm still gonna write the fan fiction but i don't want the majority of my words to come from that so i don't want to be working on edits for whispers of tomorrow and i don't want the majority of my words to come from fan fiction so where are my words gonna come from there are a couple of different projects that I might bounce around between. What would be cool is if I could pick one project and stick with it, but I know my brain and that's probably not going to happen. Let's be real. So let me, I changed my tab. I'm sorry. That's definitely the wrong tab. Don't have a 50 million tab open when you're trying to record a video. <laughs> um, so there Hopefully one of these four projects is what I will be working on. Though there is that possibility we will get to November and I'll be like, you know, we just got struck by this plot funny. Let's do it. Okay. I hope that doesn't happen, but it is a high possibility. It seems to happen like every time to a lot of people in all honesty. But um, let's talk the four projects that I would potentially be working on. Hopefully I can settle down on one of them, but you know what? If I bounce between all four, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. So the first one is Rise of the Blood Queen. It's book one in my Blood Rain trilogy. Um, it is set in the same universe. 
as my shadow series in fact the main character in the blood rain series will actually make a cameo farther down the line in the shadow in my shadow series because there's going to be seven books in shadow currently only three in blood rain but that could change who knows let's hope it doesn't change but it could just saying so rise of the blood queen talks about um essentially the main character dinah um kane eventually dragula uh, once she accepts some things it's a thing um she is one of the oldest vampires she's one of the first 13 vampires um and it essentially her rise to power and her learning um that everything wasn't as it seems um it begins with a mass character great time but that's one of my options is rise of the blood queen and the second option is Whispers of Eternity. Whispers of Eternity just so happens to be the second book in the in my Shadow series. You know, the sequel to Whispers of Tomorrow. The one I'm hoping to edit the, before November. <laughs> and guess which one would make the most sense for me to work on? <laughs> Probably Whispers of Eternity. <laughs> Oops. Um, I need to outline it first, though. So Whispers of Eternity, still following Lavinia, who is the main character in Whispers of Tomorrow. Um, she's a witch. She has to come to terms with some stuff that happened in Whispers of Tomorrow. And then there's somebody literally sucking the life out of people. But not in, like, a succubus way. In a, other ways. I don't, yeah, it's just things are happening um she has ptsd she has to go to therapy she's not having a good time Whis but whispers of eternity also like you get to meet like the whole team she's gonna work with it's gonna be great um so the third option that i have here doo -doo -doo -doo, is diary of a grim reaper now, this is a story that came out of freaking nowhere. I don't even know where or how I came up with this idea. But it essentially comes from the point of view of... Also, it's in a POV that I don't normally write in. Because it's literally the perspective, the, the, the diary, um, of the main character. <laughs> who is the next Grim Reaper. Um, she wasn't supposed... Like, it literally begins with... She's like, so I died but I wasn't supposed to situation. Um, she's not as old as she's, so you begin your training as a Grim Reaper at a certain age. Um, so there's a Grim Reaper and then they're it for however long. And then there's the, the next Grim Reaper is chosen. So then they have to kind of train that Grim Reaper. So there's an overlap in Grim Reapers. Um, but then that the new one becomes the Soul Grim Reaper. There's a whole mythology that I have to build for this world as well. Um, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that one. That one might end up being more of like a serialized format. Um, I'm thinking, and I might also have, that one might be fun as like an audio thing. But I need to write it first. Um, so Diary of a Grim Reaper has this cute fun cover, by the way. Involves time travel. Um, cause there was another story that I was thinking of would also involve time travel. And then this one came, shit popped in my head. They basically start the same way. Um, could, I mean, I could do both. But that's that point. So Diary of a Grim Reaper is an option. I think it'd be fun to play with that. Um, and then the fourth option is the first book in my Gallows Matriarch series, which follows the next matriarch yeah um it's a magic bit y'all if you noticed anything about me everything involves magic i i do not give me a contemporary book to write because there will be dragons somehow probably there'll be dragons which is i don't know but it's not going to be contemporary <laughs> so gallo's matriarch the main character's name is theo she has the ability to duplicate herself it's a great time um, 
and she learns that she is the next matriarch. Um, so she has to begin her training to become the next matriarch. Um, but the matriarch isn't just in charge of like her family, but like there are multiple families she can is in control of. Um, so th that is going to be like a novella series. It's not going to be very long books, I don't think. Um, I'm also considering that one might get some different changes to it. So like I've got four options, maybe five um, options here. For projects and I'm I'm not sure which project I'm gonna go with I like all of them otherwise I wouldn't want to write them it's just which one could I potentially write the most of so yeah well thank you so much for joining me I hope you have a great rest of your day um are you participating in NaNoWriMo if you want to share share in the comments um what else? Oh, now available on reamstories.com slash catleo. I now have a membership thing over there, and that's actually where I'm going to be posting some stuff. So part of my nano project stuff is actually, um, I'm going to be, po as I finish chapters, I'm going to be posting them over there as well. Not my fan fiction, because I can't get paid for that. Um, but so I'm going to have the different stories set with covers that have first draft splattered on them <laughs> on the covers I made and then as chapters get written um, I'm gonna post the first draft chapters over there um, for members for subscribers um, for them to check out and read y'all get to read my chaos And that won't just be for a nano. That'll actually hopefully be a continuous thing all the way through um, the process of writing the book. So, but going up over there on Tuesdays and Thursdays up until it gets published. Because um, I scheduled that out just right, I think, for two chapters a week leading up to the date it'll get published. Um, Whispers of Tomorrow is going up over there. Yes, I'm still editing it. I have it. I just have to throw the chapters in the queue as I finish it. Um, which is great. I don't have to schedule every chapter. Then I have to remember dates. So yeah, you can check out that now available over there. Um, I do live streams over on Twitch randomly um, during the week. Um, and I try, I want to do Wednesday streams here on my YouTube channel. Now... I will not be doing one on the 1st of November because I want to attempt a 10K day, the very first day of NaNo. So I will not be, I want to just have one stream started and stay there. And I'm going to try, probably do that over on Twitch. Um, not here on my YouTube channel. But yeah, thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.